Hi guys, in today's vlog I'm going to make a quick uh, breakfast, um, you know, it's nothing hectic, just a nice you know, French toast vibe breakfast um, and yeah, it's one of those days, maybe on a Saturday when you wake up and you're like, you know what, I feel like a good breakfast, then this is a recipe for you. I'm going to be using minimal ingredients uh, and so yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to be taking you guys through the ingredients that will be required for this um, delicious meal I'm about to make. Uh, so I'll start off with the bread that I'm using. So I am using a very high fiber bread. Um, for two slices you get like 10 grams of fiber and I know our daily recommended fiber is somewhere around 25 around there. Not so sure about the exact figure but it's in the 20s so already just by eating these two slices i have hit half my required fiber um, intake for the day i'm also going to be using two eggs um, and this will obviously be my protein source and then i'll be using some fresh um, blueberries and then also some fresh raspberries these are going to be uh, where I get my minerals and vitamins. And then I will be using a xylitol, um, xylitol syrup. I'll be using xylitol syrup um, to make sort of like a flavored syrupy thing. Really just playing around here. Hey, I, I'll see how everything turns out, but I know what I'm doing in my head. Um, and this is the salt just for seasoning that I'll be using. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is preparing the eggs. You want to make sure that the bowl you're using is one in which the bread can sit flat in and soak because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to soak the bread in the egg so that it can absorb all the goodness. Yeah, it's sometimes breaking an egg. You and then I'm done with my egg. And then I think I'm going to add salt here already. You can add salt, salt to your liking, uh, no particular way. And then I'm going to immerse my bread. I'm going to immerse my bread in the, the egg. Right, so that we can just soak it up for a moment. I'm going to leave it here for a bit, yeah. And I think I'm going to do the same for the other one and then I'll prepare my pan. So you will notice that um, this is the second bread that I'm letting soak in the egg. And the first bread has already soaked up most of the egg, which means it is kind of ready. So when you first soak it, this is how it looks and then it will later on look like that where it has soaked in every little bit of the egg so now i can um, go and prepare my pan so that we can get um, the toasting started so once again you guys know i love me some cold pressed coconut oil and that's exactly what i'm using in this video i just used one teaspoon of coconut oil and now that our oil is are ready it's hot and ready we can now start putting our toast on here so be careful sometimes if it is soaked for a while it can actually fall apart so just be mindful of that and now for the second French toast That will be my blueberry 
sauce um, and this is obviously my French toast but right now I'm thinking I'm also going to make a raspberry sauce so that I can taste what's the difference between the two so now we're making the raspberry syrup sauce so you add your fruit to a pan you take a little bit of water not too much a little bit and you need to mash your fruits. I think we're done here. Oh my guys, it tastes amazing. It tastes just like raspberries. Duh, obviously. You used raspberry in the recipe. So now I'm also just going to decan my raspberry sauce in here. And this guys is then your finished product. This is fresh fruit um, syrup french toast. It looks divine. So that was like the ultimate alternative. A healthy alternative the ultimate healthy alternative to French toast to be honest because first of all not only was the meal I just made very low in calorie let me explain what I mean by that so uh, if you use white bread or your normal brown breads that you find every day brown bread and white bread each slice is a cal uh, 170 something 100 and something calories right so that I know for sure, um, but it's above 150. And then, so you're going to have two of those, right? So all, all together you're having only in the bread about 300 calories already, right? So then on top of that, you're going to add two eggs, right? So eggs are also a bit higher on the calorie spec because it's healthy fats. So I'd say, two eggs are about two cal 200 calories, right? So that's like 300 calories for your two slices of bread and it's like 200 calories for your eggs, right? And then you are then going to add a syrup to it, like proper syrups, you know, your normal syrups. And that would probably be another 200 calories, right? So all together you are having for breakfast uh, 300, 300, about 700 calories just sitting down French toast alone and and I bet you that's not gonna sustain you you're probably gonna in three hours time feel like another snack or you want to eat again or you're hungry right this is now the average human being I'm talking about whereby what I used right the two slices that I used each of the together they are 150 calories so that's already half your bread consumption, half of your calorie consumption in your bread, right? And then, first of all, mine is high in fiber, which means it sustains you for longer, right? And then I'm going to have my two breads, like my two eggs, which is exactly what you had. So I'd say 200 calories. So that's already 350. And then I used fresh fruits, right? I used blueberries and raspberries, and I didn't even use probably use one third a cup of it and those fruits are very low in calories so I won't even count them as a calorie they probably eat 20 calories or something like that and then I used a very little zaloton I just like strip like you know and I'd say let me see what are they saying about sugar calories per hundred gram it's 240 um, calories so I obviously used way less than that. So let me just say for heaven's sake, I'm going to add another 100 calories just for sake. I know it's not 100 calories, but already you can see that I'm in 400 calories right now for my entire breakfast. And you would have probably been eating 700 calories. Do you see the difference between just eating healthy? You don't have to starve yourself you don't have to eat things that are not nice you can still eat the same things you love eating but you're just gonna make healthy alternatives which will automatically be lower in calories 
And imagine doing this for over three months. There's no way you're not going to see a drop in your size, right? While obviously limiting your fast foods. Probably just have one cheat meal a week if you can manage that. But yeah, I just thought this was a perfect example of how I can take a conventional meal um, that everyone eats uh, and turn it into a lower calorie and healthier alternative. And it still tasted divine. So yeah, thank you for watching my channel, guys. Um, thank you for watching this video in particular. Please, please, please subscribe um, so that you get notified whenever I post. Um, and also... Just thumbs up, comment, uh, you know, talk to me, let's interact. Um, I love that. And yeah, so thank you once again.